Well, the new anchor system is pretty much all done. Now I need to uh, get a fender bumper for a float for it. So that is what is on today's agenda. Hey everybody, how we doing today? So priority for today is to find a boat fender, one of the big uh, oval style floats. So I can use that for my uh, quick release anchor system. Uh, secondary, down towards evening time, I'll pick up a lobster if there's still some around. And uh, otherwise, just get everything ready for the fishing that's going to be coming up. Uh, today is the last day of the crappy 20 knot winds. Tomorrow is the transition where it drops, starts dropping. And then the day after that, it flattens out for like two weeks or even longer. So a lot of good fishing will be coming up here. But right now, I'm going to cruise these uh, windblown uh, shorelines and uh, see if I can find a bumper. Well, it's not my Yeti that I'm still looking for. It's like a decent uh, ice chest, which could be my replacement for my live well ice chest. Hinges are still intact. Ah, oh, rough. Rough, rough, rough. Too bad. Ugh, full of stuff. That's not good. Scary. Ew. Well, not the float that I want, but check out this bucket. Man, this is like deluxe. Got the cool knurled handle there, the rope handle. Sport fishing tournament. Resort Bimini Bahamas. <laughs> nice. Well, this is one of my favorite scavenging spots here, just uh, west of Geiger Key. It's got this big old expansive area here. So I got this. That just might work there by itself. So it's an option, but we'll keep looking for a regular float as well. Okay, we may have just scored here. I thought this might have been a turtle hole. I was walking up here and then bam! Ooh, two of them. <laughs> That is exactly what we're looking for. This one, probably not this one. Fred may be able to use that one. Check that out. That is just freaking perfect. Only thing better would have been if there's a 400 feet of a anchor line and an anchor attached to it, but that'll work for now. Problem solved. Well, we found what we were looking for, so I think we're gonna head back and uh, pick up a lobster on the way and. Call it an easy day. Get ready for tomorrow to do some little bit of fishing. Okay, time to see if there's any lobsters around and we'll be out of here.
And that's what I call a winning day. So that's the one I think I'm gonna use with my anchor system. So that should work out perfect. Got that one as a spare. I've got another big one, but I'll be another spare that I'll use if uh, for somebody that's uh, doing boat tarpon fishing. That's another good option there. Foam float. That is really cool. I like that. That's just plain fancy right there. Getting the uh, the rope handle. Man, that's awesome. My bucket uh, for my dive gear has a hole in the bottom, so that's a great replacement. And of course, it got nice three lobsters there. Two big ones and then a one just over legal, so looking good. Very good day. Man, I love these productive days when things actually work out. <laughs> I had a goal in mind, a plan of attack, and I was able to execute it. Got everything I needed. Uh, the floats for my uh, anchors. So I've actually got three varieties to choose from now. That's always good because I'm bound to lose one in the next month or two again. Man, 50 bucks a pop. But uh, that excellent bucket. Man, I love that busket, bucket with the rope handle. That makes it so much nicer. I think what I'm gonna do is get rid of my milk crate holder for uh, when I go on boat trips. I usually put all my gears in that milk crate, except you can't carry them in one hand. You have to carry them by two hands, so you can't take extra gear, so it's a hassle. But with that rope thing with the bucket, man, I can just do everything one and grab my rods and go. So that worked out great. Now, lobsters are still around, so super happy about that. Did the stir fry, so even something healthy. I can't beat that. So I uh, love those productive days. Uh, it doesn't happen all the time. But uh, anyways, I'm going to chow down. I do want to say thank you to everybody that's been buying the hats. Sold a ton of them uh, this first week. Uh, only negative, well, not negative. One's a negative in that I found I can't take more than two boxes on my motorcycle. So every day I have to start taking my car now, and that kind of sucks. Might have to think about putting a limit on the hats to only two per day. But uh, other than that, uh, selling really well. 
the color palette has surprised me on what people are buying. Uh, so I'm going to have to kind of switch that up a bit. I, I did have some other color options that I was thinking about, but wasn't sure about it. But now I'm definitely going to go that way. So you'll see some new colors, a couple new designs coming out. But check them out, www.allaboutthebait.com, crabs and uh, bait fish. But uh, 36, 38 varieties to choose from. So check them out. Uh, but otherwise, uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to chow down now, Asian style. And uh, I'll see you next video. Bye. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. hmm. Perfect.